it's time to set up another weekly. I don't know if that was hype enough. As usual, our process will be one, looking through what did and didn't work from the week that was, two, considering what kind of things I might actually need in a weekly setup for the week ahead, three, sketching it all out to figure out where I want to put everything, four, actually penning stuff in, and five, weekly population. Let's go. So here we have the current weekly, or the weekly from this week. I say current, it's now like quarter past nine on Sunday evening, so eh. All in all, this one worked fairly well. I didn't really need as much space on the task list, but that's because I did a terrible job at actually getting into my planner this week. I really liked the meal section. I enjoyed having a smaller priority section again. That was still pretty good. Pretty good on the sizing for this one. I didn't really check in with my journal though, so I didn't really check in with my priorities. Habit tracker was fine, except for the fact that I didn't use it. Wah wah. And having our little event section on the side, that was fine too. Probably didn't need quite as much space as I gave myself, but I'm not sad about the way it was utilized. This page here effectively became my brain dump space for my weekly resets. So this was at the end of last week. I put my brain dump on here directly. And then here is my brain dump that I did all of about 10 minutes ago. Flipping over though, we have two spreads for this weekly that I've left in my journal. So one here and one here. After this, we get into the June pages. So I do have enough space to do another Dutch door and I think I'm probably going to. I'm just gonna try and be better about actually getting into my planner and actually recording the things that I am doing. Yes. In terms of actually thinking about what I want for next week, so as I said, I've got enough space for a Dutch door, so I'm going to make one. I have a lot of multi-part projects that I'm working on at the moment, and I really think I need enough space to see what all those projects are and the steps that I've completed for them. So possibly, rather than doing the Alistair style method with the days of the week, because I don't really need to know what days these things are happening on, I just need to know that they're getting done. So I'm going to have a running task list that doesn't have the days of the week. I'm going to have a space for my meal plan because I've been enjoying that. I don't think I need the priorities section next week because honestly everything kind of just feels like a priority. And a space for events would be good. And a habit tracker. Gotta have my habit tracker. Flipping over, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each page into four pieces. So like in half lengthways and in half horizontally. So we have one, two, three, four. And then I'll leave six places on this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Cut off the Dutch door. And then on the other side have the other six. I just need to plan out where I actually need to cut the Dutch door so that it kind of works with what I'm trying to achieve here. Taking our trusty ruler and pencil combination, we're gonna do some sketching in. Just to make the sketching in process a little easier, now as I know where I want my Dutch door to be, I'm going to cut that one out just so I can then see what I can put in the side panels in terms of where the Dutch door is actually going to sit when it is one way versus the other. And as always, this piece of paper can be saved for either fixing mistakes or putting in a tip in, etc. It's crazy how much smaller that Dutch door can be when I don't need to put in the Monday through Sunday for the Alistair method. Continuing with our penciling in though. Now as I pretty much know where everything is going to go, it's time to start penning things in. And I'm going to start with the border and then move on to the headers. <laughs> The strands in your eyes, they color them wonderful, stop me, they steal my breath, must have been designed my head, lost 
the hope that I had left. I have nothing left to give. I have found the perfect end. You were made to make it hurt. Days gone by. Give me a sign. Come back to the end. The shepherd of the dead. Take a breath. Hold it in. Start a fight. You won't win. For the task list that I'm going to have in the middle here, that one's not going to get a header. I do need to put the numbers in for the days of the week, but I need to look them up first. So with the headers in, it's now just time to erase the pencil lines and then go and add all of my beautiful pale green lines. It honestly seems like this monthly setup has decimated my marsh green pen. It is so running out of ink. <laughs> like, I can get a couple of good strokes in before I have to shake all the ink back down to the nib. Yeah, bit tragic, but we persevere. Like, you can barely see that. It's probably for the best that this is the last weekly setup of the month because it really does not seem like this pen is going to last much longer. I'm actually thinking that for this section here I might just draw in some green dividing lines with the other nib because that one seems juicier. Despite our pen mishaps though, we have a nice long running task list section in the middle here on the Dutch door. Habits tracker, my events for the week, and my meal log space. There is a bit of extra space here so it might also start getting used for notes, but plenty of space if I need it. I'm low-key glad that this is the last weekly for this month. Not because I don't like the setup or anything, but I'm just a little tired of the green. <laughs> Looking forward to using some more colors in my next weekly setup, but I'm feeling good about how this layout is going to work for me. If you needed more weekly spread inspiration, be sure to check out the playlist that we have on the screen here. And as always, team, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.